Hi there, I'm Gary Schnitzler with Safe Tech and Profire, and this is the first in a series for us of unboxing videos where we're going to talk to you a little bit about fire trucks, where they come from, uh, what the purpose of all the different features on them are and the different options are. Uh, maybe for someone who doesn't know a lot about fire trucks, maybe you're not a firefighter, maybe you don't work in this business, we wanted to pull back the veil a little bit and show you a little bit about what fire trucks are, where they come from, how they get here, and some of the cool stuff. Uh, feel free to comment on this video at the end with some other specific things you'd like to see. If I just went over something really fast in the video, uh, we can certainly pick it up next time. So this truck is what we call a fire engine or, or a pumper. And this one actually belongs to Saanich over in the Greater Victoria area. Uh, this is a brand new uh, fire truck delivery. It's just come up to us here in Abbotsford for what we call pre-delivery inspection. And we're going to deliver it actually just in a couple days. You might be wondering, do we build this truck here in our facility in Abbotsford where we're located? Uh, short answer is no. Uh, we're a dealership, so our manufacturers are actually located in the U.S. And one of the interesting things about uh, fire trucks that I didn't realize uh, when I initially joined the company is everyone's heard fire engine red, fire truck red. And the really interesting thing is there's no such thing. Of course, most fire trucks are red. A lot of them that you see go down the road are red. Uh, of course, there's a lot of other colors. You see green fire trucks, yellow fire trucks. Certainly, most of them are red. So where do we get that fire engine red from? Traditionally, they mostly are. But in actuality, I checked in the quote program, there's over 850 different shades of fire engine red. So next time you're wondering what that color is, it doesn't actually exist, except for when it's on a fire truck, and then I guess you can call it that. So we're in the driver's seat now of this fire truck for Saanich, and looking around, you'll notice on the dash, there's certainly lots of uh, switches. One of the interesting things about fire trucks that you might not realize because it's a big commercial truck going down the road is they're actually equipped with airbag systems, uh, a lot like the ones you might have in your car. As they're doing their job, they need to be protected and kept safe. So it's important for them to have a lot of those features that you might see in a, a commercial vehicle because you never know what's, what's going to happen on the road. Okay, so back here in the cab of, of the fire truck, what we call the crew area, um, we've got three seats here. Um, in a fire truck, you can actually have in these uh, spacious custom cabs, they're actually made just for the fire service. Um, you can get actually up to 10 seats in one cab, so 10 firefighters in, in one vehicle. And one cool thing to note here is that you'll see firefighters on scene wearing their, their air packs, what we call SCBAs, and they're actually stored right in the seat. Um, so if you look at the seat, there's a storage area in here and the bottle actually from that pack nests right in here So they're sitting against it. So they, when they get to the scene that they're going to they just throw that on uh, Backpack style and they can exit the vehicle So earlier in this video you heard me refer to this truck as a, as a pumper or a fire engine and The reason for that or one of the reasons for that is that there's an onboard fire pump on these trucks There's a pump in here and the really cool thing about it is actually the same big engine that's inside the truck it shifts over so that the, set of the drive shaft actuates the pump rather than the wheels at the back. So it's that same big engine that's driving this pump and it actually pushes out over 2,000 gallons per minute of water out of an 840 gallon water tank that's in the back that's actually inside the truck. So it'll actually have the power to push out the capacity of that whole water tank every 22 and a half seconds. So when I refer to that turret for water, we call it a monitor. Uh, that's this unit right here. So it's actually sitting on a telescoping pipe that allows it to come up above the truck and it can turn 360 degrees and aim where it needs to go. So it's actually the largest source of water that can come out of this truck. So I said before that these trucks roll to more than just fires. They go to car accidents, they go to medical response calls, and firefighters look at this as, as a tool. You and I see it as a really uh, cool vehicle that's going down the road, um, but firefighters, for them, it's a toolbox on wheels. And everything that's on this truck is mounted in a very specific place so that when they're on a call, they don't have to think about where the ax is or where that specific piece of equipment is, whether it's to cut someone out of a car or go to a medical response call. So where I'm sitting right now is actually called the hose bed, which as you can imagine is where they store all that hose. And you might wonder when you see a, a you know, fire truck on TV or you, you might see one in, in real life on the scene or on the news, um, you see all this hose lying all over the place and you wonder how it gets to that call. They actually carry it right on the truck um, in what we call the hose bed here. It's divided, actually these dividers into different sides. So where I'm sitting is where their high volume hose would go and that's actually the hose that goes from the hydrant into the pump 
and in these smaller areas are where the two and a half inch or inch and three quarter hose goes, and those are their attack lines. So that's where the water's coming out that they're trying to put on the fire. So in storing a lot of this equipment, it's not always helpful to have it just on a shelf. So what you'll see is a lot of these slide out trays, what we call them. So for instance, in what you might call the Jaws of Life, that's actually a brand of a particular tool. Uh, that's a brand called Homatro. And there's a set of cutters and spreaders in here. And something like this that's pretty heavy to, to pick up, you don't want to be reaching into the truck, or you don't want firefighters reaching into the truck because that's hard on the back. So we have these pieces of equipment that are custom mounted in here on slide out trays so that you can simply stand over them and be able to lift them out. These trucks are so versatile and perform so many different actions for the fire department that there's many different kinds of equipment. Uh, so what we often say is that you know firefighters, fire departments like to put 100 pounds of stuff in a 10 pound bag. So really everything that you look at on a fire truck, dead space inside the body or void space, isn't really useful. So they'll use it and fill it with stuff that they can store that's useful for their jobs. So if you take this for instance right inside the, uh, the wheel well, they've got a hopper here that pulls out. They actually take their what's called floor dry or speedy dry, so it absorbs oil at car accidents. Uh, they put it in here and it's a big hopper for them. So all the firefighter has to do rather than lugging around big bags that are taking up space inside the bins, they can walk over to this with their bucket. There's a little trap door they open up here, fill their bucket close it up and then they can go through that on the oil that's on the road. So really every ounce of storage space on these trucks is maximized. When firefighters are on scene, especially in conditions where it's nighttime, it's dark, they can't see well, uh, whether that's a fire scene, whether that's a motor vehicle accident, uh, lighting is very important. So if you notice this truck and you take a look at it, you'll notice lights everywhere outside of just the flashing lights for when they go down the road. Uh, this that I'm sitting next to here is called a command light. And this, what this does is actually allows firefighters to swing around and put light wherever they need to on the fire seat. Uh, so it's a really useful tool for them to be able to see what they're doing and do their job safely. It wouldn't be an unboxing without actually opening up the box, so to speak. So this is the cab tilted, so it's pretty impressive. The whole cab, that the custom truck that we were just inside sitting in the seats, it tilts up 45 degrees so that you can access the engine, the transmission, the radiator for maintenance. It's all right underneath here. Unlike your car, which has one battery, uh, these big trucks actually have six what are called Group 31 batteries that power everything that goes on in, in this truck. Thanks so much for watching our very first fire truck unboxing video. As I said at the beginning, leave any comments or send us messages with what you'd like to see in the next fire truck unboxing video. Thanks again to the District of Saanich for your continued support of our business and SafeTech and Spartan and everything that we do to serve you guys. So thanks again for watching. Appreciate it.